Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I wanted to tell you a silly little story of something that's happened to me recently. In the grand scheme of things this isn't the most interesting story time of all time, but hopefully it will make you smile and chuckle a little, like it has for the friends who have heard this story so far. They've just thought it was ridiculous, and to be honest it is a little bit ridiculous. So anyways, I hope you enjoy. A while ago I came across one of my friend's videos on Facebook. She runs a kids club and the kids were playing this game that looked so fun and it involved a load of chairs. I was thinking back to when I was a kid and I thought I would have loved that game as a kid and even just now you know that'd be like a pretty cool game to play with adults you know maybe we could get a bunch of chairs in get some alcohol going you know it would even still be fun as an adult it just looked really fun so I decided to leave a comment on that video and I thought my intention of wanting to play the game myself was kind of obvious, you know, kind of joking and stuff. So I just said, I need to borrow 30 chairs. And then like dot dot dot, like I was kind of imagining what I could do with these chairs. Like I thought my humour was obvious in that. And the next day I had a message from somebody. Hello Kate, I've seen you're looking for chairs. The chairs in the video are being removed from the community center. You're welcome to remove as many as you need. However, we cannot take any responsibility for the chairs or people using them after you remove them from the center. We're not using them due to the feet rubbers needing replaced. They're marking the soft floor in the main hall. Apart from that, they're in working order. When I got that message, I started to feel a little bit stupid. Because what I've meant as, I need to borrow 30 chairs, it came across as, I need to borrow 30 chairs. And this person had actually reached out to me with such a long and thoughtful message, offering me as many chairs as I wanted, the ones that were actually in the video that I'd watched, like the star chairs. I know that like humour doesn't always translate well on the internet. Like one person's humour doesn't necessarily match up with somebody else's. But until that moment it had never occurred to me that somebody might read my post and think I am actually in need of 30 chairs. It also got me and my friends thinking as to why this person thought I needed 30 chairs so urgently. I was thinking maybe I'm a school teacher and the classrooms got looted over the summer, so now I'm needing the kids to bring their own chairs to class, or they're just like standing up for eight hours of a day. I don't really know. Or maybe I was planning a campfire or something. I don't know. Like, why would somebody suddenly need 30 chairs? And to be fair, this person doesn't know me. Maybe I had my own community center or my own kids club, and I needed chairs. But I feel like there are better places to go to find chairs than commenting on a Facebook video. Like, it was, it was nice of him to offer, and I do understand that they weren't going to be needing these chairs, but at the same time it's really really funny that somebody read that post and thought I genuinely needed 30 chairs. As a side note to this, I was also asked recently if I was printing a 40 page document off of the library, or if I was printing the same thing off 40 times. And again, it just got me thinking, do I look like a school teacher or something? Why does somebody suddenly think that I need something 30 to 40 times over? But anyways, like I do understand people are trying to be helpful and friendly. I just keep finding myself in these situations for some reason. I went to reply back to the Facebook message, and after such a long and thoughtful message from the guy, I felt bad kind of telling him that I didn't actually need 30 chairs, like the part of me saying I needed 30 chairs was a joke. And also, who jokes about needing 30 chairs? It's just a weird thing to joke about. Why? Like, which idiot, apart from myself, jokes about needing 30 chairs? Nobody does it. Nobody goes, I need 30 chairs, ba boom tsh. It felt too awkward to tell him that the whole needing 30 chairs thing was a joke and I actually had all the chairs that I needed for my current requirements. So I told the guy that I found 30 chairs somewhere else overnight. Yeah, he, he's probably on to me. He probably realises what's happened now. 
And my dad, when I was telling him this story, was like, oh, that was a bad idea because the 30 chairs that they're getting rid of need replaced. So if you tell them that you found 30 chairs elsewhere, maybe they're going to ask you where you got the 30 chairs from because they need a supplier. And then that would have been like a whole other, you know, big web of lies going on. But luckily he didn't reply after that. Um, I'm guessing maybe they found another home for the 30 chairs. I'm ready to put this all to bed now. If you're going to crack a joke on the internet, maybe double check that you're not being ridiculously cryptic about it. Try and put in like an exclamation point or a smiley or something like a ha ha, lol, just something to help people realize that you're not actually in an hour of need. Don't joke about excessive amounts of furniture because that's just not funny. Like why? Like. Why would somebody joke about furniture? I don't know. I'm an idiot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think. And thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. Cheerio. Thanks again for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see another one, check out over here. And YouTube has suggested a video you might enjoy over here. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks again, everyone. Cheerio.